UK ministers may have had a change of heart over helping out struggling Eurostar, whose future is uncertain due to financial troubles, Express. Co.UK understands, the cross-channel train operator, which runs services between London St. Pancras and Paris, Brussels and Amsterdam, carried 11 million passengers in 2019. But Eurostar faced a 95% fall in demand due to the COVID-19 pandemic and now only operates one train a day between London and Paris and Amsterdam, Brussels. Company bosses have held meetings with UK ministers over a potential state-backed bailout as the cash-strapped train operator faces an uncertain financial future. Whilst UK ministers initially appeared to spurn requests to bail out Eurostar and urged them to ask the French government for help, this publication understands ministers may be starting to look the other way following their most recent meeting on April 12. Express.co.uk also understands the company recently struck a deal with lenders to refinance hundreds of millions of pounds of debts. Railways Minister Chris Heaton Harris said Eurostar significantly helped to boost the UK economy. Acknowledging the benefits of the operator for the first time in a response to a written parliamentary question by SLU MP Tanmanjit Desi, Mr. Heaton Harris added, the government continues to hold regular discussions on Eurostar's financial position with the French government, both at ministerial and official levels. Both governments recognize that Eurostar's services bring significant economic benefits for both the UK and France and we will continue to work with the company as we work towards the recovery of international travel when it is safe to do so. We will continue to engage with Eurostar to understand what further support or measures the company, its shareholders and lenders will take to stand behind the company to address its current financial challenges. The minister's comments are a slight contrast to Transport Secretary Grant Schaaf's position who said Eurostar wasn't the UK's company to bail out in February. Transport industry sources close to Eurostar today told Express.co.uk the UK appeared to have a change of heart in their strategy. One source said, the UK seems to be changing their tune slightly and is recognizing the important benefits of this cross-channel service. This seems really hopeful, chiefs at the company also expressed some hope for their future after they announced they would increase their timetable on May 27 to two trains per day between Paris and London from one. But a spokesman for the company stressed they had no new details on a financial bailout just yet from the UK government. They stressed that conversations were still progressing, adding it was too early to predict a recovery to pre-pandemic levels. Whitehall sources said the Department for Transport was engaging actively with Eurostar but stressed no deal had been agreed. Eurostar is majority owned 55% by state-owned SNCF and faces losses of up to £4. 2 billion due to tight travel restrictions in France, the UK government no longer has any involvement in the cross-channel operator after the Treasury sold its 40% stake to an Anglo-Canadian consortium for £757. One metre in 2015.